It's me. It's CGB. I'm Valhall 3 champion. Congratulations to Kovac Go Blue on the win. He's and I have taken on all of your favorite YouTubers. I have destroyed them all. <laughs> 497 damage. Yeah, yeah, uh, that's uh, minus 32. All right. Agent Treachery, hi, buddy. Look at Craig's face. He knows oh, he's like, no! no! I think this just proves that evil will one day triumph over us all. Why not cast the Nexus of Fate? <laughs> <laughs> True villain mode has been activated. I play a different deck every single day. Sometimes we end it quickly. Sometimes we end it slowly. I will never back down. I will never miss a day. The streak is going over 600 as we speak, and there is a lot more left in me. <laughs> Can't imagine why this had to go. you think you've got what it takes to challenge the one in best of one, you know right where to find me. Let the nonsense begin. What have we here? <laughs> Big Gandalf, it's true. No, the correct answer to what have we here? That's a lot of packs. That's five collector's booster boxes of Strixhaven. Five boxes. Lead all day. Thank you very much for the sub. And the most valuable thing that came with them from CoolStuffInc.com. When you use promo code CGB5. These are very rare. Only a few of them have ever been distributed. Yes. It's the Covert Go Blue Shark Token. I know. Blanky's excitement levels up to 11. CGB, the other day I got a demonic tutor. Oh, we'll have at least five of those. Christmas, thank you for 12 months. You are now a year old in this dojo. What's up, guys? How you doing? <laughs> oh, it's too hot. It is too hot. Way too hot in here. Oh my goodness. Ah. All right. There we go. There we go. Must be me. How are you guys doing today? So, what we did last time, and what we're trying to make a tradition of, as long as, as long as the viewers hold up, we're trying to make it a tradition when a new set comes out to have the biggest box pack cracking stream 
on Twitch to do it bigger than anybody has ever seen do it. And this time, last time we had six boxes of Time Spiral remastered. This time we've got five collector booster boxes of Strixhaven. So we got a lot of work to do. This takes a while, good amount of effort. Uh, Tatranky91, thank you for the Prime. Appreciate you very much. It's very nice of you. Uh, but first, we have to... Hold up here. We, we can't just move a layer wrong. We have to honor our burn game champion. We've got to honor our burn game champion. Wait, how'd this get here? Exclamation point fashion. If you would like your own super soft and comfy Ferris Bueller shirt to and support the channel at the same time. Exclamation point fashion. Weird how that was here right at a time like this. Let's Let's open up Magic Arena really quick. See if we've got a good cosmetic deal. <laughs> see what we can find exclamation point shuffler yeah good commands already a level 2 hype train spinely mtg thank you very much for the prime appreciate you five collector box that's money let's oh, just wait you see what we open I'm sure it will be a rock solid investment the best thing since GameStop uh, is that meme outdated now? There's some new bit. There's some new uh, cryptocurrency, right? I think there is that people are into something like uh, Doge coin. I don't know. Incredible Paul MTG. Thank you for 14 months. Very awesome. <laughs> so uh, there's these pathways. I don't really want these pathways. These aren't the these aren't the ones I like. You know what I mean? These are the ones I always switch off of. So what should we... There's probably a sweet bundle still. Marry me, CGB, and I sub your channel for the rest of your life. Wow, that's um, it's quite the offer, Dark Dragon. Very rare I receive such a proposition when I stream. Uh, I'll have to really, really consider... No. Absolutely not. Master Blaster with the Prime for three months. Appreciate that. Here, I've got a deal for you. Let me make you a deal. You sub for the rest of your life. I'll give you a little bit of attention. Otherwise, this is all you're going to get. This is your moment in the sun. Hope you enjoyed it. All right. Let's grab a little bundle of stuff. And honor our bird game champion. That is VDub1982. Congratulations. We've got all these sweet banned cards in special art that we can't even play. Isn't that nice? Like, what's even the point of this? I don't know, but we did it. <laughs> we did it. All these band cards commemorated to you. Isn't that special? Holy says we've got a Strixhaven pre-release code raffle to start in a few. Just waiting to not disrupt the stream too much. Okay. Nice. So we've got a, a giveaway today. A little something special here for the show. Ill? Ill is here? Ill. Ill, where you been? How you doing, man? I hope you're well. Sometimes you got to show that mod sword to remind people that you have it. All right. So, uh, I got to... The, the hardest part about this for me is the setup. Got to make sure the camera is in the right spot and things like that. And I really don't know from last time if this works. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Right out the gate, we've got a functional situation. So it's my iPhone. I actually broke the second webcam I got for this last time and it's still my iPhone. I still haven't replaced it. Why? Because I'm busy, okay? Um, let's see. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Make that a 0.5, uh-huh. All right. So if you are easily disoriented, check this out. It's so cool. We're just going to mess with you for a bit. Just you. Just you. All right, so we put that there. And we grab this. And now we've got to make it smaller. How do I do that? I forget, the, I forget things. Um, holy crap. How do I even... Did that do it? Nope. I, okay. Okay. So that's as big as it gets. This is what I got, and I need to somehow crop it. And these edges are so freaking huge. Okay, this is going to be fun. Bear with me, guys. We will get it right. 
It just takes me a minute. That's all. Just a little minute of your time. Easy. <laughs> no, cringe! Stop! Alright. Um, iPhone cam. Highlight, drag. Do, 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 do. I don't know if I can make it straight. I think you're asking a bit much there. You're talking about a camera that's just hovering attached awkwardly to something floating in the air. Now I can make it bigger at least. Yeah, we can make it a little bigger. There we go. And uh, there we go. Ah, what do you guys think? Did we do it? How goes the ladder? Uh, I mean, we can check in on ladder really quick. That's a legit question. People like to ask that this time in the season. So uh, we are chilling. 891. We got some work to do tomorrow, but that's just the way I like it. That's just the way I like it. I like having to play at the end. Makes me put in some work, you know? I'm okay with that. There. All right. Now we'll see how the cards look. Yeah? Yeah? How are we at focusing on these things? I've seen sharper. I've also seen worse. It's definitely a bit noisy. I remember it being higher quality last time. I wonder if there's anything I didn't hit. Oh. We got clashing music. Exit game. Hmm. Seems like I've got everything turned where it needs to be. A bit fuzzy at a light source. Not a good idea. <laughs> Not a great idea. I promise you that. Mm -mm -mm. How did I reduce the noise last time? I definitely had it sharper in the past. Let's try this. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that, baby. All right. I had it zoomed in. Maybe we can zoom it out now. All right. So it's pretty much... How do I get it smaller? I guess I can zoom it. I can mess with zoom. Maybe I keep it something like that. Mm -hmm. All right. I've definitely had this better before. I'm going to figure it out. It It's your experience, guys. It's very important. Very important to me. Apply. Zoom it all the way out. Apply. Okay. A done. Wow, that did nothing. Sweet. <laughs> Very sweet. All right. Well, you can definitely see the cards. That's the good news. You can definitely see the cards. It's going to have to... It, I think we can make this work. I think we can make this work pretty well. All right, so first of all, a few thank yous. Went to the P.O. box and got some cards. So first of all, uh, got some cards from Seth and also got some cards from... Do, 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 do. Gavin! Gavin! Seth and Gavin, thank you for sending some sweet cards. Let's show you what they sent me. Mystic Remora. This is a uh, Commander Mega card. The cumulative upkeep means it doesn't last long, but whenever an opponent uh, casts a non-creature spell, you may draw a card. It does target. It's a little awkward, but it's a fun one. Going back to the past. There you go. Nightmare. Actual Nightmare. Woo! That is one of my favorite cards of all time. When people ask me what my favorite card is, I usually say Nightmare. Chill. Some good anti-red old school. 
Snap. Return target creature to owner's hand. Untap two lands. Anybody remember this? High Tide. Until end of turn, all islands produce an additional blue when tapped for mana. Ugh. The nasty things I did with this card. Tinker. When you play Tinker, you sacrifice another artifact, search your library for an artifact, put straight onto the battlefield. It's kind of broken. And then uh, these are the ones from Gavin. So Gavin loves Xur the Enchanter. So sent me a Xur the Enchanter to play in Commander. This is kind of a prison-y card. Whenever it attacks, you may search your library for an enchantment card with mana cost three or less. Uh, put it into play. Pretty nuts. Here is Nine Lives Extended Art. That's a fun, broken-y thing to do. And there's a Solemnity, so the full combo. In effect, basically, they cannot kill you anymore. So that's, ex that's fun. So those are some cards sent over. Thank you very, very much. I'm going to set them off to the side now because we're going to be keeping track of what we open in the, coll the collector boosters from now on. All right, guys. I also need your help with value. I'm going to pull up Scryfall. I'm going to have it available, especially so I can tell what the Japanese cards do. But if I hit something valuable, you guys have to let me know. Like, I, I rely on you guys to let me know. And uh, also... Also, if it's over $10, we sleeve it. So you got to be able to find where it's priced over $10. Sound like a deal? We don't sleeve, we don't sleeve anything less than a Hamilton. Let me go get some sleeves available. Got to have them ready to go when we crack Demonic Tutor. go. Got that in position. All right, now is the part of the show where I have to figure out how to master the art of having my hands over here, revealing cards while looking somewhat over here because I'm sitting a couple feet from the right spot and activating keyboard and using one of the screens. So this is a, a fun little way to totally screw up my back if I do it wrong. What about the video with PV? I don't know, maybe you have to watch the YouTube channel. Yeah? Wait, what's happening? No! No! How? Why would this turn off? It's not supposed to turn off. No! How could you? The, the signal is live. Why would that happen? Why would that happen, huh? Any ideas? Why would it go to sleep? Do I have, like, battery saver turned on? Do I have to turn off my screen lock? Let's see. Search for lock screen. Auto lock. Uh, never. That'll be fun. And we'll see how that goes. Let's also throw it in airplane mode. This way I won't get any phone calls, mess up the show. And let's launch the camera again. And are we on? And we are on. Now, can I get back to the right spot? Ooh, look at that beautiful focus. All right, come on now, focus up. Focus up, camera. You can do it. Yay. All right, did it again. It's all right. We're just nice, chill, try hard, mega, mega pack opening. So here we go. The first box of collector boosters. We're cracking all of it. Draft, never. Pace it out, no. We're doing all of it today. Every single one. Congratulations to Captain Ventress. You won the giveaway. How many boxes? Five. Five boxes of collector boosters. If we're going to do it, we're going to go harder and larger than anybody before. Oh, yeah. These streams usually take a while. 
get ready, guys. And there are some winners in here. Uh, foil Japanese Demonic Tutor, for example. If you guys remember the Time Spiral box opening, it took a minute. All right. First rare, we got a Foil Valentin, Dean of the Vein. Probably worth about 50 cents, but feel free to look stuff up if you guys want to. It does help me. We got a Geometric Nexus. This is the commander card. There's going to be one in each pack. We got an Extended Art Body of Research. Have, have any of you, like, people keep saying do this with Fling. Have, like, this and Terror of the Peaks, I think, is the, the combination that's actually Dees. There is our Special Art Cultivate. There is our Japanese Swords to Plowshares. Ooh, Foil Japanese, what is it? Is it Strategic Planning? I bet it's Strategic Planning. Who can name these cards well? We're all going to get good at this by the end. All right. It is Strategic Planning. That's a $20 Swords to Plowshares. Is that true? That can't be true. No way, that's... Really? All right, I'm clicking on it. I'm testing you. I'm testing you. Actually, according to this, it's not even for sale. Hmm. This one doesn't even have a price. Is that true? So this one right here doesn't actually have a price listed right now. Where can I find it? Let's see. Swords to plow shares. Archive Japanese. Are they just sold out everywhere? TCG says Card Kingdom has it for $9.99. TCG Player has market price at $23.23. Okay. Sleeve. We got our first sleeve of the day, boys and girls. Get in there. Okay, then. Nice. As for a foil strategic planning, probably not that much. Again, the prices aren't even here, though. This is going to get interesting because without the prices listed, I can't find it on Scryfall. So where can I look? TCG player has like historical stuff. Is that right? I would look on uh, Cool Stuff Inc., but they're sold out a lot and they don't show you the prices after they're sold out. They do, they are my sponsor. I do love them. I do not look at other places lightly. All right, strategic planning. Foil archive. I've got to get used to reading this. Not much. Um, 62 cents. All right, they're not all, they're not all like pure money. Good to know. Good to know. It does look really pretty. How about this one? How about a foil stone rain? That's pretty cool. Is anybody looking for a foil mystical archive stone rain? I'm not going to try looking all of them up. I'm just trying to get an idea of where prices are. I always have to do that in the beginning. Then I get a better idea as we go. And yeah, these are like 26 cents. They are in every pack, so they're not the huge hits unless they're foil and rare, I think. I think that's what it would take. Good to know. Good to know. We definitely don't have to look them all up. But that Swords to Plowshares is a great start to the day. All right. How do I? How am I going to sort these? Green, red. Let's see. I don't have much room on camera, so I'm going to sort them above the camera shot. I know that's frustrating, but the way that the setup is working today. So black and white. There we go. Now oh, we actually have a representative from every color pile. Next back. Getting a lot of comments like, what about your video with PV? Do you, do you think I forgot that it's happening? Just honest question. <laughs> Stay tuned to YouTube. Stay tuned to YouTube, guys. It'll it'll come. 
Ooh. Oh, Plum the Forbidden. Oh, man. I like this card so much. Shiny Foil. Let's, let's keep you around for a minute. All right, there's a Foil Lesson, Basic Conjuration. Ho ho! That is a Foil Professor Hottie. AKA Professor Onyx. Yodora Grave Gardener Extended Art. This must be the Commander card. Another basic conjuration. Shuffler's fine. Um, let's see, what is this one? Snakeskin Veil? Snakeskin Veil. Oh, everybody's favorite art in the set. Faithless Looting. Oil, claim the firstborn. Whoa! Extended Art Foil Magma Opus. That will be the most expensive version of the Opus on the market. And it is one of the most played Mythics. Do you think that one's worth something? Let's have a, let's have a look. Extended Art Foil. How do I see the foil? Mm -mm -mm. Sorry, I'm not used to using TCG. How do you see the foil version? I don't see it. I see the li the regular version. I need an easier way to find this stuff. Onyx is worth something? I'll check that one too. Magma Opus. Okay, foil. $7.39. Not quite a sleeve. Okay, got it. How about the Liliana? Did somebody pull that one? Somebody is saying that uh, Professor Onyx is worth something. So let's see. We've got Foil, Strixhaven, Professor Onyx. Uh, I believe that's the borderless one. That would be $41. I see $14. No, that's the borderless one. Yeah, I'm guessing it's about fourteen dollars. That's sleeveable. That's sleeveable. Looking, looking good in foil. So there's our winner from the pack. Do you think it's because she's good, or do you think it's because she's Liliana? <laughs> All right. From the forbidden, nice. This goes in blue. Next pack. People are just teacher fans. Wouldn't surprise me. I love this card, Divide by Zero. I'm playing it way too much, but probably not in, uh, like, Commander. I don't think it's going to be good enough. Obviously, there's no sideboards. Ooh. Foil, Lorehold, Command. Nice. Octavia, the Living Thesis. Commander card. And they come in the pre con so the Commander cards are never, like, worth too much. Flame Scroll Celebrant is the double-sided card that also has Revel in Silence, which is actually a cool counter to an ultimatum that isn't blue. We got Infuriate. We got the Japanese card. Who, who, can, who can name this card? Who can name this card? It's blue. I'm looking it up. If you can name it before I get to it, you're cool. It is Memory Lapse. Memory Lapse. That's a good one. That's a hit. Whoa. What's this? One green, foil, borderless, Japanese. It would be nice if it were Abundant Harvest. It is Adventurous Impulse. Wah, wah, wah. And then we have an Extended Art Foil Leon and Light Scribe. So I hope this card takes off at some point. This is a good one to have.
Any big money there, chat? If you guys looked them up. All right. Light Scribe is a bomb. Probably, I mean, that's the best version of Light Scribe you'll find, but it's probably not worth very much. Um, wait a minute. <laughs> okay, I, I'm not making this up. I've got to show you this. Hold on. We're rich. We're rich, guys. Actually rich. <laughs> <laughs> Most expensive poll in the history of the show. <laughs> blankies. Can we get some blankies in the chat? Best poll ever. <laughs> Cash money blankies. All right. <laughs> Good lord. I I can't make this stuff up. Well, that's what happens when you sell out. You get to name your own price, whether or not some poor fool will pay it. That's another that's another story. No, it's confirmed, guys. We we opened a ninety nine a nine 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 dollar a thousand dollar card. That's what we opened. Just just go by TCG player. It's it's clear. Fracture, that's cool. First rare, Dream Strix, Foil, is a root Chandler, another commander card, Mavinda extended art. That's pretty cool for a mythic. Not bad. The median price is best for valuing. Oh, Incredipal, I know, I know. But that's not fun when you have when you could say that you made a thousand dollars instead. All right, eliminate the mystery card. What is it? That's got to be Doomblade, right? That's got to be Doomblade. Just just look at the art. Look at the art. Easy Doomblade. This is a foil. It's one in a black. It's somebody's face. Eliminate. <laughs> Shuffler is rigged, guys. It's another eliminate. And that is an extended art foil. Silver Quill Command. Pretty cool. A lot of black in that pack. And white. <laughs> My gosh, reading some of those prices is hard because there's so many versions of a card like a, a, a Dark Ritual, right? All righty. We got the Free Flame Painter. Foil. It's pretty cool. Oversimplify. Commander card. Quandrix Command. Extended art. And what's this? I'm guessing it's Divine Gambit. This card is an endless troll for me. I will always be trolled by Divine Gambit because I one time wanted to play it in Sealed. Ooh, we hit a mythic, a banned mythic. How much are people willing to pay for a mystical archive natural order in paper? This isn't banned in commander, is it? I'm gonna have to look up natural order here. Might be worth something. Natural order in commander is a card. $14. See, I knew you guys would be helpful. You know what that means. means we sleeve. Next card. That is a very lovely negate for a blue mage. 
What are you? Regrowth. Extended art, foil, borderless, Japanese, mystical archive, regrowth. Okay. Probably not worth much. But you guys will let me know. If a regrowth can be worth something, it would be that one. Very pretty card. I'm going to be honest, I don't usually sell the cards. I have, a, I have, like, where I bulk some of them, but for the most part, I just collect. It makes me happy. Leave? I mean, I only sleeve it if it's over $10. Somebody has to convince... No, like, nobody shared the price. I rely on chat to make sure that my cards don't get damaged if they're worth something. Like, you have a job to do. The Witherbloom Apprentice? Like, this is... This is a pretty legit Magecraft card. Let's hang on to that. You play standard paper ever. I used to. It's been a long time. What do you do with commons and uncommons? I usually keep one of them and then give the rest away or sell them. All right. Foil Quandrix Command. Light Mound is the commander card. Retriever Phoenix. Uh, hasn't exactly blown up yet, has it? Strategic planning. Another swords to plowshares. Um, this is etched. This is etched. So I think that means it's worth dollars. I think that's another one that what, it was worth like 10 bucks or 20, somewhere between 10 and 20 earlier. Hard to get a price on these. They are selling fast, which by the way, if you want a discount on Mystical Archive singles, Go to CoolStuffInc.com and use the promo code B2S for back to school, B2S, and you will get 15% off of a Mystical Archive single between now and May 2nd. Promotion ends on May 2nd. So I can get you a 15% discount on your Mystical Archive singles at CoolStuffInc.com using the promo code B2S. So don't forget that. Crucial information. Not over $10 on the etched. Why is it cheaper on the etched than the non-etched? Let me let me see here really quick. 15% for back to school. Oh, this one's Japanese. Okay, that's the difference. This one's Japanese. And this is just like $7? No sleeve. You are not worthy to wear sleeve. No sleeve for you. No sleeve for you. You not worthy, are ya? Anime version worth more. Next card. What the heck is that? They're both etch. Look, guys, I'm never gonna get all the terminology right. <laughs> Revitalize. A life gain spell. And then we have Full Art Shiny Flame Scroll Celebrant. I still think this card might have a place. I haven't quite found it yet. But Revel in Silence does a unique thing. And this creature can add up. <laughs> I'm going to hang on to one of these. Although I guess in Commander it's not any good because you just counter the one anyway, but it does exile it permanently. Yeah. Yeah. I, I really only play Commander paper lately, so I guess there's no reason to hang on to it yet. Oh, God. Well, there's a Commander card. Isn't this worth? Isn't this worth something, though? We've got a Foil Wandering Archaic. Isn't that worth something? I remember seeing it on a list. 
of light like, cards that people actually wanted. A foil? Again, how do you see the foils? Near mint foil. Okay, seven dollars and thirty-six cents. That's not great. That ain't it. That ain't it. <laughs> you guys think it's worth more than that? You guys are posting higher car higher prices. Let's see here. Wandering archaic. Man, it is actually hard to find these singles. Like, harder to find the prices than ever before. Like, they're sold out in so many spots. Some, some sites don't even have data. Interesting. I'm going to have to go with the $7, because that's what I could find. Hello, Tara. How are you? Hello, Right Justice. Dazzling Sphinx. Torrent Sculptor Extended Art. That's pretty cool. All these double face cards. I have to try not to show the next card. I still think this card is pretty good. Like the the Prismari deck isn't bad. It's probably not worth a ton though. Here we got our special art Defiant Strike. Now, what is that? That looks like Urza's Rage, if I had to call it. What do you guys think? Urza's Rage. Yep, Urza's Rage. Urza's Rage. No price. <laughs> oh man, uh, like 18 cents probably. All right, what do we got here? What the heck are you? Who is the ninja cat? Who is the ninja cat? Foil. That's thrill of possibility. That's thrill of possibility. <laughs> I mean, look at look at look at that art. Why are we ninja cat? All right, next card. Tezzeret's Gambit. All right. No big hits there. Took a pack or two off. That's okay, though. I can feel the big shinies on the way. Ooh, that's a nice one. I like expressive iteration in a foil. I'm down for that. Then we got the lesson confront the past. Then we've got semester's end. Replication technique. That's going to be the commander card. Strict proctor. There's a more normal thrill of possibility. That is gotta be Approach of the Second Sun. Call me crazy. How about Approach of the Second Sun? That is really cool. Foil etched village rights. And a full art, or an extended art foil radiant scroll wielder. Approach is greater than $10. Is that true? I see. Come here, buddy. I've got a sleeve for you. You are a very nice approach. Come here. Come here, buddy. There we go. You don't have to touch the commoners. You don't have to touch the, the, the less valuable cards. Moving right along.
We got Adina. It's kind of commander popular card, right? Maybe I should hang on to Dina. Fractal summoning. Ooh, our first foil snarly. Maybe those will get played someday. Audacious Reshapers, commander card. Double Major. There's some nonsense people want to get up to there. What the hell are you? What What is this? What is... All right. So there's a baby floating in a river. This has to be claimed the firstborn then, right? And some goblin just wants some of that? Just wants in on that? All right. <laughs> Sign in blood. Another strategic planning. And extended art foil, callous blood mage. How's the audio, guys? Can you hear me okay if I if my voice is pointed in this direction? Does it cut out? Is it still picking me up okay? Should be quiet enough in here, but I always wonder. Alright, we're good? Cool. It's a little odd. I have the mic over here, which is about as over here as I can get. And then I have the camera over here. <laughs> it's okay, too much me. Sounds good. Here we go. Wait, guys, they sent me an upside down card. They sent me an upside down card. I want, I want, a, I demand a refund. I've never seen that. I've actually never seen that be again. <laughs> Quality assurance fails. Oh my God. <laughs> Verdant mastery. Angel of the Ruins. When it enters the battlefield, XLL up to two artifacts or enchantments. That's wild. Check the back if it's upside down. Come on, guys. You think they just put the back upside down? No, of course not. Come on, guys. Oh, look, another Vine Glimmer Snarl. This one extended art. Strategic planning. What are you? Japanese. It looks like lightning is striking a cat's head. Must be Brainstorm, right? All right, guys, how much is this one worth? It's not foil. Non-foil Japanese Brainstorm. What do we got for a price? Talk to me, Goose. I needs to know. It is foil etched, though. I mean... You're talking about like the little kind of gold lines here and there. Not very much, but yeah, I guess. We've got $15, we've got 24, we've got a big freaking wall of text. Nice. $18, 15. Okay, it's probably more than 10. Some point somebody in in Twitch chat must be right. These foils are pretty healthy so far. There's no pret there's no pretzel effect. Like, there's no bendy. All right, what do we got here? This is a foil. Um, let's take a guess. It says plus three, plus two. It must be an infuriate. And then we have extended art foil frost boil snarl. If these lands were good, this would be the best one. That would be nice. I have a feeling they're not worth anything, though. I like the Brainstorm. I don't think I owned a Brainstorm till now. So, or wait, um, not in my second life as a collector. When I was young, I use brainstorms to line the inside of my uh, hamster and mouse cages. 
Daisy MTG, welcome. Thank you very much for nine months. Two more in this box. Two more packs in this box. <laughs> what? Again? And it's my uh, my promo card. They they gave CGB an upside down frost trickster. That's hype. That's hype. All right. It was also at the same spot in the pack as the last one. It was the third, the third card from the front, the third common. For those of you who want to get into conspiracy theories, there's a mythic in foil, blot out the sky, blossoming bog beast. Dramatic finale. Extended art. Japanese. Look it up. What is it? What are these freaking cards? This one is... Is... Can't find it. Uh, uh, I'm guessing Tainted Pact. But I'm not sure. I can't find it. Oh, there it is. Okay, it is Agonizing Remorse. Agonizing Remorse. That is a very pretty Electrolyze. That... Guys, I know this one. I absolutely know this one. I, I, I basically can speak Japanese, and this is Agonizing Remorse. But this one is Foil. And this is a foil Japanese borderless mythic? What is it? I mean, it's the stamp is red. It's got this little red stamp in the corner. I think it's natural order. What's that worth? Anyone? We sleeve the last natural order. This has to be worth more than that. It's not Tarmogoyf. We opened those last time. People say 40? 40 dollars? 40 US dollars? That's pretty hype. Look at that. Not 40. Well, someone's a buzzkill. Foil Strixhaven? No. Strixhaven Archive? Foil Strict Saving Archive, 4182. 4182. That's what that price says. Well, I'm excited. Cha ching. That's probably one of the nicer natural orders you can open in the world. If you are a natural order gamer, what more could you ask for? I do have a green card over there. Come on, come on, CGB, focus. All right, last one of this box. I still have two Tarmogoyfs that I opened in the, including a foil one that I opened in the Time Spiral Remastered. It was nice. Have a pest. No! No, that's a different spot in the curve. An upside down Wither Bloom Pledge Mage. What's going? <gasps> oh my God, guys. Two upside down cards. Hey, Rosado, how you doing? Long time, long time. Two upside down cards. It happens. No, it doesn't. No, I demand a refund. Uh, Killian Ink Duelist. It's kind of an interesting commander card. We'll hang on to it. Flame Scroll Celebrant. Commander card. Exponential Growth. Extended Art. Opt. Japanese. Gift of Estates. 
Uh, did somebody order some planes? Foil infuriate? Or etched infuriate, if you will? I don't know. Etched electrolyze? Foil electrolyze? How do you want me to say it? Well, we got a few electrolyzes and a lot of infuriates today. Some of these cards, I got all kinds of prints of them. Prints for days. All right, guys, that's one box. How long did that take? An hour and 14 minutes. We're going to be here a while. <laughs> Let's go. Because we do it bigger than anybody else. We're doing five booster boxes and we're cracking every single pack. When we crack up packs on stream, we go hard. Oh, we'll do it again. Oh, we will. This time I have an oversized uh, waste basket to throw things in. So I don't quite have to destroy my room. I know that that was a big draw to the last time I did this, but it did take me days of, to clean up. Well, mostly days to get the motivation and hour, like an hour to clean up. Good times, good times. Yeah, you better make some popcorn, guys. Five boxes, we're going to be at it today. Oh, we have a giveaway, guys. Holy just started a giveaway. Type box number two, like you see in chat, to be entered to win codes. MTG Arena codes? I think they're for packs. Anyway, who cares? They're Arena codes. You'll win something. Just do it. You know, I got to play with this card for the first time today in the... Uh, what's the deck? Titan's Nest. So I'm going to keep one of these around. Spoiler alert for tomorrow's video. Oh, there's a Lumen Monster. Sparring Regimen. You know, 10 to the Pest, I bet that gets some commander play at some point. We'll hang on to one of those. This card's actually good, but not in commander. So it's not worth anything. Promise of Loyalty. Frostborn Snarl. We got the Negate. What are you? Is this another? Is this? No, the Urza's Rage was different. What are you? Um, hmm. Hmm. What do you guys think? Stone Rain? That's the only one I can think of. And it does look like there might be rocks falling from the sky. It is Stone Rain. Igniting. Thank you for five gifted subs. Welcome five more. And then we have... Well, there was an attached foil snakeskin veil there. Oopsie. And then we have a full art foil devastating mastery. Kaboom. Put some of those away. Pretty, you know, it's a pack. The pack of magic cards that happened. You saw it. I have a feeling that the clever Lumimancer is going to be the big draw for me. Next up. Hello, Waffle Toasters. Welcome to the show. We're opening packs. A lot of them. All right. Reject. Another double major. Another commander card. Extus, the Auric Overlord. Ooh, that's an extended art mythic. This card might not be that bad. I'm excited to play with this a little bit. I think this card's going to be a bit sweet. Awaken the Blood av Avatar. It's an awesome commander. So is this extended art one worth anything? If it's good in commander, sometimes cards like this take off. You guys would let me know if it were worth a Hamilton, right? Probably like six or seven dollars. We got Adventurous Impulse. 
What are you? Are you Inquisition or are you Duress? It's worth 30 quid in UK money. What is that? What's a quid? Oh, that's Dark Ritual. Dark Ritual, huh? Do people want Dark Ritual? Probably not, right? Is that one banned in Commander? Let me see. Can I can I play with this? It's only banned in Historic. Nice. I've got no price on it uh, on Skyfall. Excess Extended is like 20 US. Is that true? It's worth $1.35. Okay, well, no Dark Ritual. Let's look up Extus really quick in Extended. And Scryfall says $12.58. That's a, you know, that's a sleeve. That's a sleeve. That's a sleeve. You, you don't have to mingle with the common folk. There you go. I don't know what a quid is. Asking me these questions will will do nothing. What's this? That is Divine Gambit. I mean, it's pretty. It's not much. Cord 9, I am having a great day. And this? What the heck is this? Oh, this is the combo card. Nizix Mastery? Foil? Japanese? What, what do you think? Is that one a, a pretty penny, possibly? Seems like a really good card. Seems like kind of a messed up combo card. It does look really sweet. Uh, here we go. So, a website says $17. $17. Let's go. All right, good pack. That is, that's what we call a good pack, guys. That's what we call a really cool pack. Maybe not the greatest pack of all time, but the best one of the day so far. That's a, uh, that's nice. What's the giveaway for? I believe it's for some arena codes. Packs on Arena. If you want some mystical archive singles, remember, use the promo code B2S, coolstuffinc.com, to get 15% off from now until May 2nd. Go do it. We got a Foil Stern Proctor. We've got Healing Technique. We've got Extended Art Tempted by the Auric. What is this? Who are you? Are you also a Cultivate? Let's look it up. Every single time I'm like, what is this? What the heck is this? It is Cultivate. I win. D spark. Nice. Oil eliminate. Is that cool? That's pretty cool. Probably not worth much. It definitely is a cool eliminate to put into a deck. And we've got a Dean. A foil extended art Dean of Substance and Dean of Theory. Ford's Gall, thank you very much for the Prime. Nine months, appreciate you. It is a wonderful day to be collecting some Strixhaven. What I hope will be a, a tradition when a new set comes out is having an epic pack opening stream. As long as you guys enjoy it, this 
This card is good, but I already saved one. There's there's another one I haven't saved. Rip apart in foil. There's the mythic. Mascot Exhibition. I would love, and I mean I would love to play this in Commander, but you can't have a sideboard. Fervent Mastery. Perplexing Test. That's flavorful. That's uh, one of the Commander cards. The Mester's End. One white mana for something. What do you think, guys? Mana Tithe, maybe? Looking up the Japanese cards, trying to find them by their art. This is... Oh, I'm looking at the wrong art. I'm looking at the English art. It is... Defiant Strike. It's Defiant Strike. Do you have a large collection? We're working on it. Compulsive Research. Claim the Firstborn. Baleful Mastery. Extended Art Foil. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to like sign a playset of these and if Crokey's puts up a P.O. box, I'm going to send it to him and tell him that I've claimed the child. Easy. He'll probably make that trade. Do you have a binder? I have seven binders. I know. I'm a maniac. No, eight binders actually now. The child is mine. Omega Incorporated, thank you very much for the sub. Your life steal and sack. I'm not gonna sacrifice Oliver. I'm not a monster. I'll just put him to work. Put him to work at CGB Incorporated, like everybody else around me. Cranking out sweet content. How do, you, how do you think I keep the streak alive? <laughs> I have I have uh, people dress up as me and make the videos. Duh. Make him a control mage? Yeah, I'll send him back to Crokey's as a Gandalf. That, that's the ultimate, right? That's the ultimate revenge. Culmination of studies. Kind of a, a silly fun card. Battle Mage's Bracers, commander card. These are collector boosters, yes. Draconic Intervention, kaboom. Shock. Tara says he's playing control today, to be fair. Well, to be fair, I also occasionally touch aggro cards, but we know who we are. And so do you. That must be sign in blood, right? Based on the casting cost. It's got to be a sign in blood. It is a sign in blood. That is another, oh gosh, adventurous impulse, I believe. And what are you? Whoa, what are you? Are you faithless looting? Is that, is that anime? Is that Ayaya faithless looting? It is a Yaya yeah, yeah, Faithless looting. Do people want this? It's foil and Japanese. Is that, is that something? Something people want? Eh? Eh? The internet's not sure. Scryfall gives me no price. It's pretty. I know it's pretty, but we have to have certified dollar value above $10. Certified values above $10. And we have, TCG player says, the current price is $22.91. Ooh, come here, buddy. Come here. Yeah. You get into the club. You get into the club. <laughs> Uh, Chris Cobb, thank you for gifting the subs. I might have missed that. So I appreciate you. Very nice of you. Um, 
Disquietus. Uh, thank you for eight months. Uh, there's actually a lot on here that I might have missed, guys. Uh, Dizzelator. Uh, here's a O Cracked One Collector Box, a Japanese set booster just for the artwork. Thank you very much for the sub. Trustee, thank you very much. It helps me buy more packs for your so that I can open them for your amusement. And then I put the cards in binders and it's my I call it my retirement plan. Cobert Gobley was not a financial advisor. None of what he is doing actually rec uh, represents any good financial advice. Golden Ratio, Inkling Summoning. Oh no. I do not want to hear about this in real life, too. Is Blex the vexing past? Oh no. You've been going crazy on YouTube content. What's up with that? What's what's different about it? <laughs> Blex is good. Mm. I refuse. This is a $9-ish foil? No, it can't be. It can't be. It can't be. No Blexies. No, no Blankies meets Blexies. No. <laughs> Absolutely not. Blex, the Vesting Pest. Wow! Guys, you don't say. This card is absolutely popping off value-wise. It says here, $1.25. In fact, if 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 you get the foil, it's worth a whole dollar and sixty-seven cents. Actually, can you believe that? I mean, <laughs> wow! Ink shield, commander cards, silver quill command. You can retire now. The yacht called Yorian Fund is looking really better than ever. Is what I would say. Whirlwind Denial. Green, green for something. What the heck is this? What the heck is this? Somebody is getting their last call. They better be here. Mizumi. You better you better talk in chat. Uh, channel. Somebody want this channel? Anybody? It's like banned in everything, right? Like, what can you play channel in? Let's have a look. Banned in Legacy, banned in Historic, banned in Commander, <laughs> restricted in Vintage. <laughs> it's got to be like one of the most useless cards ever. <laughs> Is it still worth something? Is there a Vintage player out there who needs like the sexiest possible channel in the world? Like, how do I find these Vintage players? They seem like absolute, like I could scam them. I could probably sell them anything. $20. Wait, no, not even. Hold on. The mean is $20. Let me show you what you can currently buy one for. Let me show you what you can buy one for right now. $74.99? What? Excuse me? How do I find that gamer? For foil? Okay, whatever. Whatever. You're... You, whatever, okay. <sighs> Buy list, sell it there. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Normal NA foil, nine cents. Crushed it. Now nah, it looks like it's about $19. I still don't get it. Like, why? Why? Next card. It's a killer. You're gonna love it. Divine Gambit, I know. And Memory Lapse. Uh, the Foil English Gold Memory Lapse. Does anybody want that? It should be a pretty good card. I just don't know if anybody actually would pay for it. And I don't know if it's Commander playable, which is about the only thing that matters right now in value in determining how much your cards are really worth.
foil memory lapse. Talk about another thing I used to line a hamster cage. This card in Homelands. Yep, uh, foil versions were 74 cents. Crushed it. Moving right along. Pioneer is spiking recently. You mean people think that paper magic will come back? Whoa. Big thoughts. First rare, July. Dean of Radiance. Alibo Ancient Witness. Okay. Dramatic Finale. Another opt. Is a pretty opt. Whoa. Crux of Fate. Guys, if I'm ever going to destroy all non dragon creatures, I'm going to do it like this. And. Oh, I should know this. I should know this. What was this? Was this Defiant Strike? We already opened one of these. Was it Defiant Strike? Do we have... Yeah, okay, lame. It is foil, it is Japanese, it is pretty. Ooh, guys, four mana, 11-10 creature, extended art foil. The most expensive Demigoth Titan you will ever find. Can Paper Magic come back? I am really concerned about this. Why are you concerned? Because to me, it sounds like either it will or it won't. Not something to spend a lot of concern on. Play Magic where you can right now, and if it changes in the future, play Magic somewhere else. I'm not, ma I'm not basing any of my collecting or investing decisions on it. I'm not basing any of my content decisions on it. I'm probably a lot closer to magic than the average person should be because it's my job all day to think about magic. So if it happens and you get to play it, that's awesome. But don't spend a lot of time worrying. It's not really up to you. Just do your best. Try to have fun. All right, let's crack this pack. Quandrix Command. We've got plenty of these. Quandrix Command. Uh, any big hits? Guys, do we have big hits? Channel, Sword Supply Shares. What was the card that was $999? <laughs> I've already forgotten. <laughs> it was really funny. It must have been a blue card. Only a blue card could be that good. Natural Order is worth about 40 bucks. Wake the Past. Oh yeah, it was Leonin Lightscribe. We we opened a one thousand dollar Leonin Lightscribe. You'd have to be here to get it, I think. Let's just say it was there. How about Cody? Anybody looking for a Cody? Any anybody? Hey, uh, Crokies, uh, I saw your YouTube video from the stream the day before. Would you like? Would you like a? Would you like a Cody? I should I should send him a Cody. <laughs> he seemed he seems so happy with that deck. <laughs> that looks like an agonizing remorse. Let's see. It is eliminate. I should know these things by now. Ooh! We got an abundant harvest, guys. We actually got an abundant harvest. It's not foil. It's the etched mystical archive abundant harvest. You think people are after this? Did you say it was like $7 for this? Pretty cool. What's that? That is a foil Japanese dark ritual. That's got to be the best dark ritual you can hit. Eh? Anybody looking for one of these? Oh, is it village rights? Is it not dark ritual? Maybe it is village rights. Hold on. 
It is village rights. My bad. It is a nice village rights, though. Like, if I'm going to play village rights, this is what I'm going to play. Accomplished Alchemist. Wow, what a hit. <laughs> All right. Maybe the Abundant Harvest will be worth something at some point. Next pack. We're still looking for our Demonic Tutor. Did you know that the first Collector Booster that I opened of Strixhaven had a foil Japanese Demonic Tutor? Or it was in the first three. I thought it was the first one. But it was for a giveaway for Nerd Girl's channel. It wasn't mine. So a very lucky viewer got that one. Yeah. A very, very lucky viewer got that one. Still very happy for them. If the duck is angry, here's your free shout out. Multiple choice. I keep thinking this card might be a card and then I put it in a deck and it always makes me sad. It just always makes me sad. How much is a foil Japanese demonic tutor? I believe it was $280 at the time we opened it. All right, Fiery Encore. Uh, yeah. Did we play board games on our trip? Kinda. Accomplished Alchemist. We tried to play a Godzilla board game that I bought. It was not easy to play. Village Rights. <laughs> Boom. Boom. It's not foil, though. It's not foil. Hold on to your butts, though. Speak of the devil. Get it? And it shall appear. Eh? Eh? Oh, my. Are you ready, chat? You ready for the reveal? We're going to do the reveal. Prepare yourself. The yacht called Yorian is looking good. I'm ready to retire. Boom shakalaka. <laughs> Feels good. Come here, little buddy. You don't come here. Come here. Get 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 into the into the sleeve. Alright, guys. Pack's not over. Are you ready for a shuffler's fine moment? Maybe we'll reveal another one. Or not. You know, not is fine too. <laughs> but there it is the the one everybody wants somebody explain the demand on this card for me you can't play it in hardly anything it's just it's like magic history right it was one of the originals all the way back to alpha it was an uncommon actually believe it or not just an absolute star it was an uncommon Oh, you can play this in Commander? It's legal? That's Pog. Well, yay. I now have a Demonic Tutor for Commander. It must be Commander. Anytime you're like, the value is crazy, it's because of Commander. It has to be. Moving along. Another basic conjuration. Another draconic intervention foil. Author of Shadows. That's our commander card. Extended art magma opus. That must be Whirlwind Denial. Yeah, that's Whirlwind Denial. That art is really nice, though. Urza's Rage. Whoa. I'm guessing that's Duress. I really wish that was Inquisition. But I'm guessing it's Duress. That is a really pretty foil. It is Duress. That is a really, really pretty foil Japanese Duress right there. 
And then we have a Necro Blossom Snarl. That is my favorite dress I've ever pulled, without question. Bermuda, Ben Muda Triangle. Thank you very much for the tier one. Ha! <laughs> the mighty eye twitch. Creative outburst. I'm going to hang on to one of those. This card might have applications. Introduction to Annihilation. <gasps> oh, that's a nice dragon. Isn't that card worth something? I thought this was like the most valuable single in the set. Guys, it's a dragon. Blankies. Blankies for dragons. Show, share the hype. <laughs> share the hype. Bellomachus Lorehold. I, I search for Bellomachus. Oops. Imagine spelling the cards right. Uh, Strixhaven, School of Mages. Bellomachus Lorehold. The pre-release cards and the borderless cards both have values, but this one just looks pretty average. $4. How about for foil? Foil is listed at uh, $7. Not great. Not great. I had hoped for a little better. Oopsie. Sly Instigator. Lame. Wither Bloom Command. Extended Art. Pretty cool. Revitalize. Archive Etched. Electrolyze. I'm pretty sure it's electrolyzed by the mana cost, Japanese. Good night, Holy. Thank you very much for the giveaways today. Guys, give it up for Mega Mod Holy MTG. That is a foil etched shock from the archive. And what are you? This is the Tezzeret's something. Japanese foil. But I don't think anybody wants it. Tezzeret's Gambit. Tezzeret's Gambit. I might play that in a few decks. I'm always looking for new ways to draw cards at a good rate. Of course, in blue, there's no lack of that, right? That's probably the problem with that card in Commander. Like, you can just do better. It's good in my Atroxa deck. Oh, good point. I always forget it even has Proliferate on the card. Moving right along with the epic music. Kane, Dean of Substance. Another one of those. Uh, another card that has study in it. I hate it already. Teachings of the Archaics. What are you? Infuriate. Japanese Infuriate. Whoa! Guys, another approach of the Second Sun. This one, you look at it through a cave shaped like the human mind. Reminds me of Spoiler Ish Alert, the ending of Westworld. I don't think that's enough to be a spoiler, but some of you Westworld fans know what I'm talking about. Does anybody want this approach? I know the other one was worth like 15. This is probably worth eight, seven or eight, maybe. That would be my guess. Let me know if it's worth more than Hamilton. Ooh. Ooh. That is... The coolest negate I think I've ever opened. Probably not worth anything, but that is cool. I love it. Just 
Storm players, get ready for Grape Shot. Guys, that's box number two. We are on the move now. That one only took us about half an hour. We are on the move. Wait, what's $10? The grape shot is $10? Are you sure? What What do you mean by Hamilton? Uh, Alexander Hamilton is on the $10 bill. It's a reference to um, that I first got from a Lonely Island song called Lazy Sunday. Lazy Sunday. Any any lazy Sunday fans in the in the chat? Anyway, if you want to know more about Alexander Hamilton, you should watch the Broadway musical Hamilton, which I believe is still on Disney Plus. And if you want to know more about Lazy Sunday, you should look up the YouTube video, which is epic, and I probably only watched it 50 million times. Yep, yep, see, people are going off in the chat. All right, um, what was that card that you guys are saying is worth more than 10? I lost my train of thought. I lost my train of thought. You said it's... Oh, you, were, you, weren't, you weren't talking about Graveshot. You were talking about what is a Hamilton. Okay, gotcha. You guys were trying to help out the chat. Understood. Mr. Piv and Red Vines equal crazy delicious. Anyway, you gotta watch it. Gotta watch it. We love the chronic what calls of Narnia. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're kind of on free box because of that demonic tutor, aren't we? We're going to be a free box. Keep it coming. Yeah, we're still looking for a foil demonic tutor or just more demonic tutor. Guys, blankies has to be all capitalized to work. Come on, guys. Come on. Don't bring dishonor to the dojo with bad emote spam that doesn't work all right calling ritual calling ritual ruin grinder devastating mastery extended art another opt mystical archive man does everything cost one green the heck is this <laughs> How many archive cards cost one green? And I have a lady just being like, ah, yeah, yeah. Apparently the answer is, oh, it's Abundant Harvest. Guys, it is Abundant Harvest. You think the Japanese one has any value? It's not foil, unfortunately. The internet says median $10 on the nose. Just good enough to jump into a sleeve. Let's see what else is here. Okay, we got an opt and we got something else. That is a very pretty foil etched opt. You know, they do say uh, this one is worth like $6. It's better than nothing. Also, by the way, check these out. Can anybody see a pringling? Can you see any kind of curve or bend to this card? I don't. I can't find it. It's pretty solid. King C150, thank you very much for the prime. Uh, this, I believe, is Weather the Storm. But let's try to check. 
It is regrowth. Okay, it's regrowth. It's probably the best regrowth you can find. The foil Japanese one. But probably still not worth anything. There was a time in my day, a, a long, long time ago, where regrowth was like restricted. It's considered OP. Like you could only play one. Kind of silly in, in hindsight. Make your mark. No upside down cards, Dadge. There's a Frost Trickster. The CGB preview. Oh, oh, oh baby. Oh, no. <laughs> a foil Biblioplex. Now that's a CGB card. That's a CGB card. Into all my decks you shall go. I'm sure it's not actually worth any money. I can't sleeve something if it's not worth it, but it's, I'm still happy. Commander card. Gnarled, the gnarly professor. Infuriate. I have more infuriates than I'll ever need. What the heck is this? Have we seen this one yet? Not thrill of possibility this time. It is. Grape shot. It's grape shot. This is an Eliminate. You think, Sensei, read us the flavor text. Samuel L. Jackson. Dude, do you think just because you're a movie star, you can come in here and tell me to read for you? Do you think this is a reading stream? Anyone here will tell you, I never read the cards. This is a reaction stream. I open big money and I pog. That's what we're here for. Okay. Get it. I, I, don't, I don't care. I will say what to you again. I have no fear. Have you pulled a Faithless yet? Yes. Pros and grip. <laughs> Biblioplex carrying the pack. That grape shot is 27. No, it's not. Guys, grape shot isn't worth that much, is it? A bad red card? Come on now. There's no way grape shot is worth that much, is it? No, it's not. It's like 20 cents. You guys are, you guys, you're trolling me. Actually trolling me. Yeah, it is. No, no, Link. <laughs> no, no, this is a lie. The cake, this is a lie. I refuse. And I was going to tear it into pieces just to make, you know what? I'm, I'm going to tear it up right now to show you I don't believe it. We're going we're gonna to just rip this thing to pieces right now. Here, here we go. It's what I think of red cards. Wrong value. It's what I think. Here we go. <laughs> yep. It's going to just carve it to, okay. I mean, here we go. Got a uh, standard box cutter. We got a standard box cutter and we five four three two one And uh, now that we've cleaned up all the pieces of the card. Yeah, look, there we go. Everything <laughs> will move right along. <laughs> we'll move right along. <laughs> is, the, <laughs> is the flame ad okay? Some people have the right priorities. Could never hurt a card. I've ripped up cards on the stream before. Don't you think for a moment I won't do it again. Especially red cards. Conspiracy theorist. Law shield clockwork scholar extended art. Manifest sage. Extended art. Oops, centering. 
Lost my spot. Strategic planning. Japanese. God's willing. Etched. Defiant strike etched. The savior of the pack is extended art foil pestilent cauldron. Got him. I I mean, was anybody here before? Like, who's gonna who's gonna promise me a sub? Who's gonna like promise me a sub at the next pongify? You know, or whatever the pongify of this pack is. We've got a, a stupid uncommon to make a game out of. All right. If you open a Ponga Pie, I'll sub. Wow, really? Silver Quill Silencer. Inferno Project, extended art. Ingenious Mastery, extended art. Thrill of Possibility, etched archive. What's this? What's it do? The heck is this card? The tense moment of, I don't know what the heck it is. It is Tainted Pact. That is the pact. That is the pact. Now, the pact, I believe, is mythic. I believe it's mythic. Okay. That's fire. You guys are pogging. Is that a big deal? Is it foil? Not foil. It is not foil. Um, let's see. So, uh, good news. Good news. Once again, we are uh, the benefit of people just not having supply on these. $63.50. Actually, look at the median. The median is $84.39. Guys, if you want 15% off your Mystical Archive singles, and 15% on some of these can be a lot, then you should go to CoolStuffInc.com and use the promo code B2S for back to school. B2S. Right now, till May 2nd, you can get 15% off all of your Mystical Archive singles at CoolStuffInc.com. That CoolStuffInc.com. B2S promo code, 15% off. It's only live for a few more days. I would not want to buy this uh, Tainted Pact without 15% off. That's on Mystical Archive Singles, to be clear. It is on Mystical Archive Singles. B2S, B2S, not BTS, B2S. Back to school. Please, go drop a, go drop a few dimes. Maybe a Hamilton or two, if you're really feeling saucy. What else we got here? We got a Cultivate. Yeah, uh, we sell stuff out pretty fast. So you gotta, you really gotta like get on the watch list and get the like email alerts when stuff comes into, into uh, stock because between MTG Nerd Girl, myself, Jim Davis, Ali Eldrazi, like those of us who promote this stuff, woo, it goes fast. What's that? What the? What do we got there? What's this? How, how does this work? Oh yeah, that's true. You do get um uh, you get a token of me and a token of Nerd Girl. You get my shark token and her soldier token as well, when you use the code B two S. That is Mine's Desire. Mine's Desire. In Japanese. The price listed, $7. Where did you get 40 bucks? I have $7. I have a median of $10. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll sleeve it, but whoever's saying 40, I think is going a little crazy. That is a nice card though. Ooh, it is foil, that's true. Uh, I am looking at a foil as well. Oh, 
Okay, apparently not. I thought I was looking at the TCG player listing. Coons just sent it to me. I just can't find things, man. It even said foil on it. It even said foil. I'm crazy. Say hello to my little friend. Nice. So that was a pack. That was a pack that we opened. So here's the other page I was on. What's the difference? Mine's Desire, Japanese alternate art, foil etched. Mine's Desire, Japanese alt art. And then this said foil. Eh? I don't know. Weird. Weird. No, they both said foil. Come on now. What does my shirt say? Exclamation point fashion if you want to buy one of these sweet, comfortable t-shirts from Amazon and support the channel at the same time. <laughs> oh, this was fun. <laughs> good pack, good pack. I'm feeling, I'm feeling nice about this. Um... How much was that pack then? That was like a hundred bucks in those two cards, right? Not bad. Good night, Waffle Toasters. Thank you for being here. People asking who Ferris is. <sighs> Kids these days. Kids these days, gamers. What are we doing here? And then they call me Boomer. Look, look, you guys are missing out. That's all I can say. Confront the past. Dramatic finale, foil. Curiosity Crafter extended. Dean of Radiance extended. Divine Gambit, Japanese. That is a Mystical Archive Primal Command. I wonder if anybody wants that. That's a pretty cool card. It's not foil. Etched, but not foil. Infuriate? We only have a million Infuriates. And then we have an extended art foil. Strict Proctor. Blanc. Excellent. Teachings of the Archaics. Them lessons. <gasps> Quidditch poggers! Who takes their blankies to Quidditch? Dika, the fractal theorist. The Dean of Perfection. Eliminate. Regrowth? Again? I think. Was this village rights? Yeah, we've we've been down this road, right? This is the village rights. It's a very, very pretty one. And Shuffler is fine. Shuffler doing shuffler things. Yorian is in the chat. Hi, big fan of your work. Can I buy you a drink? Can I buy you a blink? <laughs> Selfless Glyph Weaver. <laughs> also got a, a backside here of Deadly Vanity. Which is a me card, if ever I've seen one. 
Incarnation technique. Hafri the Ghost Forge. I often, like, I wonder if there's, like, a uh, commander deck for this guy, probably. What was this? I feel like I've seen this one. Was this Agonizing Remorse? Indeed, Agonizing Remorse. Harmonize. Get your green draw three here. Hafri is $14 if foil. Not a foil. It's extended. That's usually worth more than a foil, but um, not as much as an extended foil. Whirlwind Denial is foil. I do think that art is sweet, even if Whirlwind Denial is kind of a meh. Maybe they think it's going to pop because of Plum the Forbidden. Culmination of Studies, extended foil. Nice pack. Uh, we, we've had some we've had some better packs from a few angles, but I'm not complaining. My dragon's approach deck is coming together. The augmenter, pugilist, pugilist, pugilist. It is a foil. Just also a troll. Extended Art Snarl. Divine Strike. Oh, baby. Let's go. What costs two blue? It makes me smile like this. That's right. That's right. The answer is nope. Counterspell. How long has it been since you cast one? I cast a counter spell in a game of Commander about two or three weeks ago. It's not foil, no. Not a foil. Does anybody want this? <laughs> no blankies. Awesome. The only spell. <laughs> the counter spell. You want me to check the price? Okay. Japanese, alt art. And. I mean. Okay. The price that it has on here is foil, but the ones that aren't are like 25. Boom. Boom, shakalaka. That's pretty cool. We will sleeve that. Agonizing remorse hanging out. Just casually chilling. Guys, extended art foil biblioplex. <clears throat> to the library. I mean, I'm a fan. I'm going to biblioplex all over this, this uh, meta. I don't care what nobody says. Bibliofl to the biblioflex. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Alright, we got the counter spell. Here we go. Weird plex, but okay. <laughs> I'll take it. First day of class. Guys, the upside down cards have gone away. I was like, I, I thought that, that it was there to troll me. Looks like it was just a mistake. Paulo! Oh my gosh, can I send this? Can I send this to PV to get signed? Can I send this to PV to get signed? Scholarship sponsor. Rushed rebirth. Extended art. That is a really 
is that that's not foil but that is still another pretty duress i have one that's foil too that i like these are really cool hello rainstorm guys i'm gonna just be over here drawing three and then considering how to put some back can anybody spare a fetch land Three dollars, no big deal. Snakeskin Veil, that is a foil one. I'd rather the Brainstorm had been foil. What's this? Japanese Foil Extended. There's gotta be a Tendrils of Agony gamer somewhere who really wants this. And would be willing to pay the extremely high and absorbent price of $2.62 to get it. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway. Looks cool. I've never played Storm and Paper in my life. I don't think I'd enjoy it. It looks like you have to actually keep track of a lot of things. And I'm lazy. I live that lazy Storm life. Another Foil Magma Opus. This seems to be the card that's having the most impact across, like, Historic and uh, Standard, but it's not really worth anything because Competitive doesn't sell cards anymore. Triplicate Titan. Dream Strix. Snake Skin Veil. Stone Rain. Maybe put all the highest cost cards on camera. Do you, do you notice my real estate is limited? It's not the worst idea. It's just not what I'm going to do. All right. Uh, so what is this? What is this shiny little devil? What is this? A yaya? Yeah, yeah. It is a shock. Eh, not a bad shock. Sign in blood. All right. Fervent. Man, if the Fervent Champion snuck into one of these packs, I would shred it. I would actually tear it to pieces. All right, moving right along. We've got two packs left in this box, and then we have two more boxes. So we're getting the job done. Fervent Champion. Tome Shredder. You know what? I'm going to prove. I'm going to prove my devotion. Yeah, ripping foils is so freaking hard. Look at that. Look at that actual foil. Did you ever wonder? Did you ever wonder? He was a bad dog. All right. He was a bad dog and we had to do it. We had to do it dirty. Proving my devotion to content. <laughs> Do it. Take your weapon. Clever Luma Mancer. Quandrix Apprentice. Uh, I wonder. Yeah, I'll keep that around. Radiant Scroll Wielder. Oh no, Pepe, leave. Monologue Tax. I feel like this... You should probably... This card should just be played against me every every day. Another Palo. Extended art. Strategic planning. What are you? That's got to be Gift of Estates, right? I mean, doesn't that... Doesn't that anime gal just look like she's getting some estates? It is Gift of Estates. Are you playing the Sweatsuit Invitational? I have been invited to the Sweatsuit Invitational. I do not play the Sweatsuit Invitational because I avoid playing competitive limited like the plague. Shock. 
I know, shocking. And then what's this? Two in a blue. It's like some kind of a study. What are you? It's a blue card? Monologue tax is over $10? No. Those commander cards are worth something sometimes? How much is it? Is this compulsive research? That's probably not... That's probably not the most sought-after card in the history of mankind, but... I've had good times with compulsive research back in my day. So somebody is saying... Somebody is trying to tell me. They, they, want, they want my attention. They're saying monologue tax is worth dollars. Let's have a look. They, they think a monologue tax with extended art is worth something. And the internet says about $13. So good job, chat. You found a card to get sleeved. Commander cards. The things that commander players want, white ramp spells. White ramp spells. That's what they want. That's what they want. That's all they want, and it's disgusting. All right. Paper for the win. I, I agree. You know, one stream, one stream after a set release devoted to, like, opening a ton of packs, I think that's pretty exciting. I like that. Exponential growth. You guys remember, I used to do victory packs. The problem with victory packs was remembering when to do them. And then having to stop what I was doing, make sure I always had the other camera set up. Having to put cards away after every single stream was really hard to do. Doing it all at once saves a ton of time. Like a crazy amount of time. Exponential growth. Radiant performer. Baleful mastery. Village rights. That must be Crux of Fate. That's got to be Crux of Fate. Divine Gambit, the card that will never cease to troll me. It's actually on a mission, I think, to always, always, always troll me. Save the pack. It's another Tendrils of Agony. All right. That is that box. Are you ready for box number four? Two to go. How do you play dual-sided cards in paper when sleeved? Uh, you take them out of the sleeve and put them back in. Crux is 21 on median? Really? Crux of fate. Japanese. Oh, you, you don't say. Good job. They almost got away. It's not foil. It's not foil, but neither is the one on the website. I mean, you can also proxy, right? Uh, assuming you play Paper Magic with other people, as people sometimes do. I lost a sleeve. What a disaster. Uh, ask them. <laughs> ask them what they do. Where did you get your mat? Coolstuffinc.com, where you can also get 15% off of all of these sweet Mystical Archive singles until May 2nd with the promo code B2S. B2S. Uh, no, uh, Cryogen, we have a Leonin Light Scribe literally worth $1,000. <laughs> At least that's what it says on the internet. We already have a Japanese demonic tutor. Let's see if we can do it again. Wow. 
why is it worth that much? Because it's the only one on the internet. <laughs> to be honest, mine is probably worth more than that because mine was foil. The one that was advertised was just extended art. <laughs> just to add to the meme. we go box number four will it be a big one box number two so far was insane but we had the tainted pack mind's desire packed packed pack that was a real that's probably the highest value pack outside of the demonic tutor jadzi oracle of arcavios foil vain witch coven venerable war slinger Agonizing Remorse. Didn't have to look it up. Getting better. Sign in Blood. That is not a Demonic Tutor. That is... Oh, I remember Ninja Cat. That is a foil, a ya ya thrill of possibility. And that is a full art foil, Archmage Emer Emeritus? I wonder if that's worth something. Seems like a, com a commander card, potentially. And the answer? $3.68. We did it. We did it, Internet. We did it. Hey, yeah, yeah. Next pack. Starting to fill up the trash over here. Just gonna have to start throwing pack wrappers on the floor again. Just make another big mess. I'm a huge Golgari fan. You like the pest deck? Sweet, man. I'm glad you like it, Phoenix. That was one of my favorite decks to play so far this season and easily my most watched video. We all wanna see how you pile cards. Well, it's up here slightly above where this is. Maybe I'll show you after, but I just pile them by color. Uh, the rares, and then I just pile the bulk off to the side. Theoretical Duplication, Conspiracy Theorist, Snakeskin Veil, Electrolyze, so many Electrolyze today. Village Rights, save the pack. What are you? What are you? One white Japanese super colorful. What the heck is this? What is this? Thank you for the 118 bits. Appreciate you. Uh, ephemerate. It's ephemerate. No, it's an ephemerate. Goman, thank you for extending the tier one sub through, through June. If people want ephemerate, I've heard people talk about ephemerate. Seven dollars and eighty-nine cents for the, but that's not foil. The foil one is uh, lower. There's something wrong with some of these TCG. Uh, there's something definitely wrong with some of these TCG pages. Like they don't have the art on them. It doesn't have the right price. Okay, fifteen ninety-nine. They say is foil. Nice. Man, the, the art is so cool, too. Well, my Yorian deck will enjoy this. There is no question. Yorian Commander loves this card. No question. What do you think? Do I have to shred all the Tome Shredders to prove myself worthy? I'm warning you, puppy. I'll do it. I'll do it. I think I want to keep one Decisive Denial around. Do it. Some, some people love that. Rushed Rebirth. Oversimplify. 
Extended art wandering archaic. I remember looking this up earlier. Worth much? Not really. Eliminate. What are you? That's Crows and Grip. That has to be Crows and Grip. Doubt anybody's looking for that one. Strategic planning. Oh, I know what that I know what card this is. It's the troll. Extended art foil version of this card, which might make some little Timmy very happy with Echoing Equation. Crows and Grip has an axe on it. You sure? I mean, I'll look. But if I'm right, I will never believe you about anything ever again. You're officially off my list. It was Crows and Grip. Back off. I got this. Yep, you're going on the list. I've got the list right over here. I'm writing it down. I, where I write down all the people in chat I don't listen to anymore. Teachings of the Archaics. Vine Glimmer Snarl. Replication Technique. Silver Quill Silencer. Thrill of Possibility. Tendrils Non Foil. Japanese. Foil Japanese. Infuriate. Foil Extended Art Witherbloom Command. I've heard some people saying that that could be played in older formats. I'm going to look it up really quick. If it is worth anything, uh, this version is probably the most valuable. And they say $3.83. Killing it, Strixhaven. Killing it. I can't get a Starbucks for that, even if I wanted one. That's about the price of a, a Starbucks kid-sized sippy cup level green apple smoothie. That's what that is. All right. Devastating Mastery. Tivash Gloom Summoner. Don't know what the heck is up with that. Extended Art Biblioplex. Divine a Gambit. Swords to Plowshares, the etched one. This was not worth $10. I remember we had to unsleeve it. All right. What do you think this is? It's foil. It's Japanese. It's agonizing remorse. Save the pack. That is a foil natural order. I remember that being worth about 20. Natural order. Foil etched. They have it $16.78. Come here, buddy. That's not bad. That's our third natural order today. I would like a time warp to go with my natural orders before we go. Man, dude, <laughs> some of these cards, some of these cards we have so many of in the Mystical Archive now. I could, I, I could blow my nose on them. All right. If I get one more Agonizing Remorse, I might shred it. I might do it. Verdant Mastery. Environmentalist's Palette? Elementalist Palette. Environmentalist. What's wrong with me? Ooh. Extended Art. Ifrit Flame Painter. Snakeskin Veil. Brainstorm, that was $20, I believe. 
Come here, buddy. Come to Papa. Infuriate. Foil God's willing. But yep. Everybody wants a kaiju having a brain a brainstorm. But something about that people are just losing their mind for. Still not a foil though. It's etched, but it's not a foil etched. Hi CGB, big fan. Thank you. I'm a big fan of big fans. Welcome to the show. We're opening packs today. It's our one big pack opening stream every set. Which I hope becomes a tradition. Because it's actually really fun to build my collection, but also get it all out at once. This is our first Sedgemore Witch of the Day. Which witch is which? This witch. Willow Dusk Essence Seer. It's a commander you can get from the deck, the commander deck. Double Major, Extended Art. Agonizing Remorse. Doom Blade in Japanese. Lex QC, thank you very much for the Prime. Strategic Planning Foil Japanese. All of Oracle's Extended Art and Foil. I started putting this in a few of my uh, decks, the adventure decks. I still have not actually put a plus one, plus one counter on anything, actually. Rip. But yeah, you guys probably watched that video today. Today is a uh, gruel day, right? I like one of, right on. Are you a commander player, Tara? You'd like one of us. It's a good video, thank you. How do you organize your collection carefully? It's a complicated question. Oh, we got a, a foil Valentin. We got an Essence Pulse. Three and a black, gain two life. Each creature gets minus X, where X is the amount of life you gained. Weird. There's a Vine Glimma Snarl. We've got, I think, our, a playset of these Snarls, I believe. Strategic Planning Strikes Again. Chaos Warp, that's actually a mythic. Foil Etched Chaos Warp. I doubt it's worth anything, but I'm going to try. You never know what crazy cards they want three dollars and 49 cents baller claim the firstborn but there's a foil japanese card right underneath it and it looks like it might be black what are you that's dark ritual that's dark ritual that's really cool isn't that pretty that is a pretty one that's a foil Japanese dark ritual. What? What? $41? What? For a card I can't even play? It says 24, but the foil listed median down here, like, like here's a, a foil at 35. The foil median down here is 41. Nice. You know, a simpler time. Do you know what I did some to somebody? You know what I did some to somebody in an actual on an actual pro tour? Turn one. Dark ritual. Hypnotic Specter. Yeah, that's true. It's true, I did that. In a pro tour. Don't act like you're not impressed. Yeah. True. Anyway, you get a sleeve. You get a sleeve. You will live in my commander decks forever. Was there salt involved? No, my opponent was doing the same thing. 
As was everybody. As was everybody. The way that you one up the Hypnotic Spectre was the Dark Ritual, Dark Ritual, Sanger Vampire on turn one. That that was that was the classic response to the turn one Hypnotic Spectre. Another Ifrit Flame Painter. But he said the Fang of Silverquill. Extended Art Segmore Witch. Strategic planning. Uh, Urza's Rage. Japanese non foil. Adventurous Impulse. Foil Japanese. <gasps> it's Lightning Helix. Oh my god! Foil Japanese lightning helix. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> and they say... No, nope, that's lightning bolt. I was looking for lightning helix, thank you. Seven... Oh, foil? $28. $28. That is an adorable anime lightning helix. That is really sweet. I love it. I love it. I'm happy about that one. Such a part of magic history. If you guys don't know that reference, probably the most famous top deck in the history of Pro Tour Top 8s was a Lightning Helix off the top for exact lethal in a Game 5 situation. Uh, that sent Craig Jones to the finals of that Pro Tour. Where I, if I remember correctly, he lost? To Heezy? Or did he win? Anyway, the Brits love it. I think Craig Jones is like one of the only British players to like really kill it before autumn was around <clears throat> all right come from the past Ecological Appreciation Day, I guess. I don't know. God, this card is weird. Has anybody played this card? The It's a mythic searcher library and graveyard for up to four creature cards with different names. Anybody? Later, elite all day. Appreciate ya. Sproutback Troll. Trudge? It's a fungus beast. It's only nine mana. Easy. Exponential Growth. God, you, people just asking for Demonic Tutor in every single pack. All right, here is Claim the Firstborn, Japanese. Here is English Etched Gift of Estates. All right, what what do you think this card is, guys? Can, can anybody identify it from this alone? All I'm showing you is the casting cost and about half the art. I know what it is. I know what it is. It's not Demonic Tutor. It's Eliminate. And then we have a Silver Quill Silencer, actually, an extended art foil. Probably the most uh, probably the most expensive Silver Quill Silencer on the market. Get dice, thank you very much for the tier one. Air horns, air horns, air horns. The promo code for cool stuff is great. It is, right? 15% off. Use the promo code B2S on Mystical Archive single orders. Get 15% off. How many packs remaining? There's one. And then there's one more box. So we're coming. We're, we're getting down to the wire, okay? We're getting down to the wire. We're almost there. We do have one Demonic Tutor. One two hundred and eighty some dollar demonic tutor. 
Semester's end. Paid for a lot of boxes. Cursed Muir. Pestilent Cauldron. Defiant Strike. How long is the promo code active? Until May 2nd. Oh crap, what is the code? B2S. Like back to school, but with the number two. B2S. Somebody get croquis. We opened the croquis card that I wasn't jealous of for a minute because uh, he's so into blue card draw Gandalf spells and I'm totally not. Wait, is the promo code great or active? It It is both active until May 2nd and it's B2S and it's only, it's for 15% off Mystical Archive sing singles. What's, what's so hard about this? All right. Anyway, Blue Sun Zenith. $10, is it? 15 or so? Let's, let's have a look. That is a pretty cool way to win a game of magic is a Blue Sun Zenith. The internet says $15. Let's see what the last card in the pack is, shall we? That's not the last card in the pack. There's still one more. It's Negate. But there's still one more after that. I wonder what it could be. Is it a is it a, an interesting and popular card? Let me just sort some stuff while we slow roll. It's a very pretty foil Negate we've got here. Two in a red, you say? The heck is this? What is this? What card is this? Gotta look it up. We're still this far. This is the fourth collector booster box, the last pack in it, and I still don't know what all these cards are. Chaos Warp. It's a Chaos Warp. Which I don't think it was worth anything, but I'm always... Willing to look up the mythics, just in case. What? What? You guys gotta see this to believe it. You gotta see this to believe it, man. What is the matter with people? What is the matter with people? This is a foil, too. $44 is what it wants to tell me as the mean? Currently offered for 41. What? 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 Let's just, uh, I, I guess I'm not gonna rip this red card in half. That's a pack. How about that pack, guys? $15 Zenith, $40 Chaos Warp. Two sleeves, one pack. All right, last pack of this box. And then we have one box to go. Draw Strixter. Wither Bloom Command. Uh, Yadora the Grave Gardener. I, I don't know what this is. <laughs> Whoa! Full Art Borderless Planeswalker. Kazuma. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Is that a big deal at all? Probably not, right? But... I don't know, there's gotta be somebody playing like super friends with Kazuma. Kazmina. Oh that I mean I'm what am I saying? Kazmina, not Kazuma. Guys, a whopping five dollars and fifty one cents for a lightly played version. Actually it says the normal median price is about nine eighty seven. So I'll I'll you know, rounding that up, that's a ten. It's a 10. Oh, guys. Another Infuriate. 
It must be my birthday. Yeah. How many in how many infuriates can one CGB open? Swords to plowshares. This one somebody said was 20, and we did sleeve it before. Uh, what's that? Gift of Estates? What is this one? Anybody? Looks like Gift of Estates. But no, it looks different. Like, they can't all be Gift of Estates. I think that everything that's one in a white is Gift of Estates. It must be something else. Revitalize. That, that's what it is. It's Revitalize. Here we go. That is a Foil English Dark Ritual. Is anybody after that? I didn't look up the English one. Dark Ritual. Foil etched. Uh, $3. $7 for foil. All right. It's okay. Swords probably being the best pull there. All right, guys. We are down to the wire. It's the last box. I know. Five boxes of Strixhaven Collector Boosters. Will we end with a bang or a whimper? All demonic tutors. Did you get any tutors? Yes. We have a demonic. You know what? You know what? You know what, chat? Here. There you go. There you go. Just go ahead and drool on this. We're just going to leave it right there. Going to leave it right there. Oh my god, it's a tutor! Just, just drool on it. Is the price just keeping score? Isn't it always? Who sells cards? Nobody sells cards. That's, that's just a meme. But the internet... Like, the nerds really care. The nerds really care. And I don't use nerds in a bad way. I consider myself nerd. It's a different type of nerd. Accomplished Alchemist. Tempting Contract. Ooh. That extended our Dragon's Guard at least. Looks nice. Cultivate. What are you? Man, that looks like a mana tithe. I, I've been wrong about five or six to 12 times about what mana tithe is. That looks like a mana. That's a mana tithe. Not foil. Do you think anybody wants a mana tithe? $3.90, crushing it. Absolutely killing it over here. <laughs> Foil negate. Here we go. Verdant Mastery. So we're still looking for Time Warp. I think that's the card I'd like the most. We haven't opened a Time Warp. And I would love one of those for my commander decks, because I play a lot of blue. I think we've got most everything else I wanted from the set. You guys might be able to come up with a card that I haven't opened yet, but... I think Time Warp is the one I still need. I've got pretty much all of the other things. Quandrix Cultivator. I'm actually going to hang on to one of these. I don't think I've set aside a turtle yet. Poet's Quill. Marshland Bloodcaster. Shuffler's fine. Village Rights. Oh, actually, I didn't hit an Inquisition yet. That is my first Inquisition of Kozilek ever in my life. I have never owned this card. Sounds fun. A whopping $5. Definitely not much of a commander card. 
That's another eliminate. As pretty an eliminate as you'll ever see, though. And that is a foil extended art wandering archaic, which I still think was actually worth something when the set came out, unless I'm just making that up. Wandering Archaic Extended Foil. It says $32.67 for an extended foil. It's got to be the most expensive version of the card you can get. All right, weirdos. Whoever wants to cast this weird eight-armed wacko card, I got one for you. I will take $30 right now. <laughs> Step right up. I will take that deal. D don't everybody crowd me at once now. Oh, I love that sound. I don't know if you can hear it. Academic probation. Nice. Who here has been on probation? Retriever Phoenix. Bold Plagiarist. Nice. A Extended Art Dem Demagoth Titan. Claim the Firstborn. That's got to be D Spark for a white and a black. I'm trying to look at this art. It's kind of hard to see. It looks like D-Spark, right? Okay. It is D-Spark. Thank you. What is this? I believe that was Defiant Strike. With the squid. Yep. Foil Defiant Strike. Another Poet's Quill. Guys. Guys. Shuffler got broken. How many Poet's Quills are you looking for? Reject. Love it. Bookworm. Love it. Ooh, that's a foil vanishing verse. I will take that one and add it to the collection. Paradox Zone. Elemental Expressionist. Agonizing Remorse. Ah, uh, one red mana. What are the one red mana cards? Is that a shock? No. What are you? It's a fun game to play with chat. What is this freaking card? It is light lightning bolt. It's lightning bolt. Mm. Well, that's fun. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a lightning bolt. No, no. Really? $35 for a lightning bolt. Alrighty then. Alrighty then. Let's see what else is in the pack, because we're not done. Actually not done with the pack. Village Rights, Urza's Rage, all upstaged by just a little common from Alpha. There you go. I mean, is that even a lightning bolt? Where where do you get lightning bolt? I mean, I guess there's like a Z, like a zap, like a comic book thing. I don't know. I'm missing the lightning bolt in the lightning bolt, you know? Would you ever play Shock over Lightning Bolt in Historic? 
Uh, okay. <laughs> the, the, these are questions we ask. All right. Uh, Dean of Perfection. Some Digsy Engineering thing. Selfless Glyph Weaver. Pretty Negate. Not foil, though. Woo! That's a nice counter spell. I like the hand. No! No! The answer is no. Oh my goodness. That's pretty cool. Two dollars, you say? Lucky me. Absolutely balling out of control over here. That is a shiny opt. It's Demonic Tutor! No, it's not. No, it's not. That's got to be Weather the Storm. That looks like somebody in a raincoat. Uh, yep, Weather the Storm. Oh, I got, I got somebody. Somebody thought it was the Demonic Tutor. That's not the... Come on now. Come on. Don't let me get you like that. Come on now. Don't let... Don't let the streamers troll you this way. Three dollars. Foil is $9.33. All right. Sponsored by Patagonia. <laughs> you know, if they sent me a raincoat, I'd wear a raincoat on stream. I will do what it takes to be a fashion stream. I'm going to make it. Fashion never dies. Magic the Gathering has been dying for 20 years. Fashion never dies. I'll do what it takes, guys to be a fashion streamer. There is a furry cam snarl. Oh, I'm sorry, fury. Excavation technique. Angelina MTG. Hello. How you doing? Send me to detention. That is a uh, $21 it says for the non-foil version. $21. Girl, you need a sleeve. You can't be going outside like that. Yeah, I put you in a sleeve. Hmm, what card is this? That is Claim the Firstborn. That is our first Putrefy, but I can't imagine it being worth much. That is a Thrill of Possibility Ninja Cat. And that is an Extended Art Foil Culling Ritual. All right, guys, we've got about six packs to go. Boring show ever, 400 minus viewers. <laughs> what you trying to say? All right. Approach, Pledge of Mage, Rise, Assistant. The Hall of Oracles. What types of packs are these? Collector Boosters. Rousing Refrain. Is Rousing Refrain worth anything? That cycle seems pretty busted from uh, playing it in the pre-con. No, it's not. Just checking. Valentin. Uh, uh, why can't I ever remember? This is Gift of Estates, right? Can I interest you in some planes? Can I interest you in planes? This is Revitalize? Okay, fine. I, I can't get it right, guys. I can't do it. Regrowth. Save the pack. That is a foil. That is a foil claim, right? Well, that's... Definitely the best claim the firstborn I've ever opened. I'm definitely, if I'm gonna play a claim, this is the claim I'm gonna play. 
That is a really shiny, pretty claim. Oh, guys, we did it. We actually did it. The foil brainstorm. I believe that was like 35 when I looked it up before. We actually hit the foil Japanese brainstorm. $33.86. That's what it says. $33. Very cool. Definitely the version I'm going to play in Commander. Yeah, we're, we definitely brainstorm locked this stream. All right. Home stretch. Home stretch, gamers. I'm thinking about keeping these and including these when people uh, want, like, order the tokens. I could also send them signed Frost Tricksters. Sure, why not keep those? It was my preview card. Callous Blood Mage. In foil. Sequence Engine. That is an Elder Dragon. In border, the Borderless Special Arch. That is the Quandrix Dragon. I don't know if anybody wants that. Canazer. Canazer. The internet says $8. $8, not even sleeveable. There's a lovely duress, but I like the Japanese one better. That is a Japanese version of Putrefy. It's not a foil. As a foil, we're one denial. That is an extended art foil body of research. Guys, guys, if that isn't a poggers, what is? That's sweet. $11.96 for the foil. We'll take it. We will take it. Moving right along. We're running out of time for a time warp. See what I did there? We're running out of time, guys. But you gotta see the last one. Dragon's Guard Elite in foil. Archaeomancer's map. Again, they're commander cards. And you guys will tell me if any of these are really worth something. Uh, that way I don't have to read them. Auric Lore Mage. That is worth something. Oh, you are you are definitely trolling me. Last I checked. All right. You get one shot. You're banned if this is worth less than something. Archaeomancer's Map Extended Art is currently $22.76. Holy crap, why? Let's read this. When it enters the battlefield, search your library for up to two planes cards, reveal them, put them into your hand. When a land enters the battlefield under an opponent's control, if that player controls more lands than you, you may put a land from your hand onto the battlefield. White ramp cards, that's, that's what's worth something. That's all commander players want to do, is they want to white ramp. Not banned. <laughs> All right, you live to fight another day. Don't think you can get away with stuff. No, I, I do appreciate it. Thank you very much. Shock. Ephemerate. Oh, it's Japanese and it's foil, guys. It's Japanese and it's foil. Oh, it's an uncommon. It's agonizing. Frickin' remorse. What? Come on now. Whoa. Whoa, that's got to be the most expensive elite spellbinder in the game. 
because it's extended art and it's foil. Maybe my maybe my good friend who I have gotten on who is actually my M hold on. Hold on. I've got to I've got to do this. This is this is a really lame flex. This is a really lame flex, guys. But if he ever finds out, I'll be really embarrassed, but I've got to do it. I've got to do it. I've got to show you this. I've got to show you this. Wait. It's gone. Where's my friends list? Where's my friends list, guys? Hashtag no friends. It's gone. I'm trying to go online. It's not letting me. Look. Actually does nothing. I know, weird flex, but okay. <laughs> Look. Look, doesn't work. Actually, actual fail. I was going to show you guys. Log in, re-log in. All right. You guys are just trying to steal my email, but I respect the hustle. <laughs> all right all right coming back let's see if it works i'm gonna check if it works it's been broken since the update well i i was excited because i realized it was broken because when i tried to use it the other day it uh it didn't show any friends, but I got to add a friend. A friend who may or may not be the art for this card. <laughs> There's only one person who's the art for this card, so obviously you know what I'm saying. Uh, and it was, I, I don't know, I was just really, I was, I, I was like, I was like, Paulo, P, PVDDR is my friend. On Arena. And I don't know. I wanted to, I wanted to show it off, but... Maybe my good friend, unquote, will sign this card for me someday. <laughs> it says it's about $9. I'm going to sleeve it. I'm going to sleeve it. Because no matter what, that's going to mean something to me. Because PV's awesome, right? PV's awesome. <laughs> Nothing like in front of the world getting exposed for no friends. Guys, three packs to go. Three packs to go. Kazuma, Enigma Sage. This is a foil, but it's the regular art. Fractal Bloom. Illuminate History. Adventurous Impulse, Dark Ritual, Foil Extended Art Conspiracy Theorist, Thrill of Possibility, two packs to go, Sleeve Bloom, what? Sleeve Bloom, the Fractal Bloom, no way. Now you guys are just getting crazy. Let's see. It was extended art. Mm, close. $9.45. I guess we won't ban you for that. Kazmina, not Kazuma. Hey, it's not like those are close to each other or anything, okay? All right, guys. Yeah, we still don't have a Teferi's Protection either. So I'll take a Time Warp. I'll take a Teferi's Protection. And uh, Demonic Tutors are welcome. We've already got one. Because the whole internet wanted to know that, about that. Just a reminder, guys. With two packs to go, use the promo code B2S when you order from CoolStuffInc.com. It will give you 15% off any Mystical Archive singles from Strixhaven. And you get a Covert Go Blue Shark token and an MTG Nerd Girl Soldier token. 
together. That is good until May 2nd. What is the demonic tutor worth? Your immortal soul, of course. Which on the internet goes for about $280. Or was it 60? Flame scroll celebrant. Inspiring refrain. Plarg, the Dean of Chaos. Divine Gambit. We've got a rare Japanese one coming up. Looks white. Never mind, it's blue. It's Tezzeret's something or other. We've got a foil one. <laughs> Revitalize. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Save the pack. Last card. Two in a red. Grumpy dude. Is it Urza's Rage? What is it? Is it? Oh, it's Stone Rain, right? Yeah, that's Stone Rain. Stone Rain. It is a nice Stone Rain. But still a Stone Rain. Well, that's it, guys. One to go. Guys, the last pack is insanely overrated. The last pack is always trash. Like, I could rip it in half without looking. I could open it with a box cutter. That's, that's how bad the last pack always is. Unless... Unless this time, it's not. <laughs> I just want to tear up this dog every time I see it now. Don't know if I have a foil humiliate until now. I'm gonna keep one. I'm gonna keep one. Elemental Expressionist is the first rare. Pest Infestation is the next rare. So those commander cards. Extended Art, Culmination of Studies. Thrill of Possibility. That is not one we've opened so far. Mythic. Increasing Vengeance. Man, we did get a we did get a mythic. It's not the one we wanted. Wow. Two dollars. You don't say. It's Lightning Helix! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that's pretty funny. That, that's pretty funny. Trying to spike, and what do we get? Good old Lightning Helix. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Poor Dalla. You don't say. No, we got a good Lightning Helix. We got a better one earlier. That is... What is that? It's not Crows and Grip. What is it? What are you? I actually don't know. It is? Cultivate. It's Cultivate, everybody. 
All right. Well, guys, we've taken the journey. We've come to the end. It's time to revisit the stars of the show. Of course, Demonic Tutor. Body of Research. Kazuma, the Enigma Sage. Kazuma, no, uh, Kaz Kazmina. Natural Order, number one. Abundant Harvest. Channel. Natural Order Japanese Foil. Natural Order English. Three Natural Orders. What do we got for red cards in the house? Lightning Bolt. Foil, Japanese art, Chaos Warp. Oh my god, it's Lightning Helix! Or, to get it right, it's Lightning Helix, oh my god! Grape Shot. Faithless Looting. Mizzix Mastery. Professor Onyx. Dark Ritual. Crux of Fate. Tainted Pact. Foil Professor Onyx. White cards thrown to the ground. And that was doing so well. Oil Brainstorm. Blue Sun's Zenith. Regular Brainstorm. Japanese Counterspell. Foil, Japanese Mind's Desire. Japanese Brainstorm number two. Number three, if you count the foil one. Elite Spellbinder Extended Art Foil. Archaeomancer's Map. Swords to Plowshares, one of many. Anybody remember what this does? Ephemerate. <laughs> Monologue Tax. Extus, the Auric Overlord. Approach of the Second Sun. Other swords to plowshares. I dropped some cards on the floor. Let me check on them. Nope, none of them are in the sleeves. Extended Art Foil, Wandering Archaic. There you have it. 
the ballers and the players, the movers and the shakers. From what has been an epic, the most epic, you might say. Strixhaven unboxing, pack cracking time you will ever see here on Planet Twitch. I hope you enjoyed the show. Thank you for hanging out with me. It was very, very fun. One more thing before I have to go. Give me a moment. Almost certainly know already if you watch any magic. The guy's going to rewrite the record books. He may very well be the best player of all time. He won GP Singapore. He won GP Sao Paulo. He won Pro Tour San Juan. He won Pro Tour Hour of Devastation. And now. Oh, and that's, that's going to be it. Paulo Vitor Dominarosa is your world champion. Thank you for watching this stream. As always, I will see you in the next stream. Hi everyone, PV here, and welcome to my new YouTube video. In this week's video, we're going to talk about what is Cringe. the most famous magic article of all. My outro! He invaded my outro. <laughs> Good night, my friends. I'll see ya. In the next one. Normally we'd ride into the sunset, but I'm going to put this on YouTube and that song demonetizes. So we get the sweet, sweet outros from Uther Riley, who provide the soundtrack for all of my competitive events that I end up posting on YouTube, uh, the box openings I post on YouTube, as well as my trailer. So join the raid. I'll see you over on Planet Nerd Girl. Good night.